In previous video we have learned uh, how to control uh, an airplane with the joystick so if we run this as we can see if we uh, turn the joystick down it goes up and if we turn the joystick up it goes down so it's taking the wrong output so let's uh, fix it in a little quick so what we do is simply uh, here what we do simply here when we are giving it a vertical input we will just uh, multiply it with negative what we do is vertical input control x p and we will just add a negative sign so let's see if it is working perfect or not so let's run this again Now we can see it is taking the correct output. If we turn the joystick up, it goes up, and the same way it goes down. But there are some more more problem. I am making another video on it to fix. You can see if we if we turn the airplane on the right side, it, it just start rotating without limit. So what we are gonna do is to add some more features and make it more good. What we do, we will add the delimit on left axis and right axis also, and we will also uh, take two inputs and show the speed of the airplane, and also we will add a speed accelerator. So first of all, let let us let add a text box for speed. You can add it from here from UI. And you can add text. the text and uh, we will change its position and from here you can change its size to bold and you can also for example I if you make it more visible we can make the color to green and you can check this button press fit to make it more visible on the screen so uh, here it will show the speed of the text box we will initially set it to 0, 0 and let's save it and also we will take a slider to, to control the speed of an airplane we will go to the UI and you will add a slider here here is a slider what we do is we will set it to a vertical set it vertically the right side of the canvas make sure to put uh, the text and slider on canvas okay we have set it here let's save the code and now we will add these objects in the code so we have taken two objects uh, us we will private public text and other is public and slider speed slider speed slider so now we have taken these two public objects of text and slider so let's change it with the code the speed text we have to uh, here we can see the speed is propeller we have this script rotator and here is the uh, data member of speed from here it is taking the aircraft speed so what we do is we set text so from here we can
So what we do is we do that uh, this is the value of thrust percentage that uh, that is starting value of it and uh, this function is calling to set the speed and in update method method it is taking 150 uh, float float speed. So what we do is we will set the thrust value. Thrust percentage C control V and uh, set it to the slider speed slider speed slider dot value and now we will see now we will see and run the code if it is changing something or not first of all we have to give here that text and slider here and now check this if it is working or not yes we can see that uh, it is taking the output it is showing the speed here and if we increase it you can see it's working with it but initially it is not zero so we will set it to initially zero but this is also a problem if we uh, uh, keep the joystick right side uh, the air, air, airplane is started uh, rotating uh, in the air so we will also fix that also and you can see this is all, this is working fine the plane speed is controlling with the slider and if we run this code so we uh, the slider value is zero and it is still when it is started the default value is 300 so we will fix it how why it is fixed so we can see that here the set thrust is uh, is, is after this so we will just move that code so after this function so i hope this will work now Yes, it is working perfect with it. So if we change the slider, the airplane is starting moving. And if we move the slider down, the airplane stops it. And you can see it is working very perfect with it. But but also there is another problem we have to fix that the rotation is very free of that airplane. So we have to limit that rotation. So let's get into this. So what we do is uh, we will write a function here we can write a function public and void we will not return anything from that function we can say limit limit air graph rotation rotation what we do is we can declare here two values we can add the two values from here public private and one we can say left limit and the other we can say private void private lot right limit right so these are the two values we have taken here and we will also add 
take another take an object of transform private transform and we can take that local transform or we can say plane transform air plane transform and if we have taken that transform object we have to call it we have to declare we have to get the component of that transform from the object what we do is uh, airplane dot, dot transform we have to be careful about naming the data types uh, is equal is equal to get component transform dot get component dot get component transform transform and this is all good and uh, from here we can uh, in in our function we can also we also add a comment limit limit air in rotation so what we do in that function we will take uh, we will first of all we will take a vector 3 for the position vector 3 we can name it a plane Euler angle plane Euler angles and uh, we can local look airplane air airplane transform dot rotation dot rotation dot healer angle so what we have done here is we have taken a vector 3 and uh, we have we have taken the transform of that airplane we have taken that transform this is the transform object aircraft this is the transform object of that airplane airplane we have get it from here the start value from the start and uh, now we have taken a vector 3 and we have taken that transform object so what we do is to write uh, we will take that vector 3 data is equal to dot that is uh, its position its z position we have to we have to if if I see you if I show you here that plane we have we have to limit its z z position you can see you can see here the z position z rotation is changing so we have to limit that from for example we have to limit that to 80 from the positive and 80 to the negative or or we can say 60 whatever which is best so so we have to take the position z. Is equal to dot z is less than 180 and second step we will do is take that vector 3 dot z is equal to we will use mathf dot clamp function dot mathf dot clamp function to limit the position of z we will take that angle and uh, the we have taken two values from here left limit and right limit this we will give that to it here left 
limit left limit and right limit and why it is showing us the error because we have not set it to the position so we have to take the position z so and simply what we do is we will call that function here when we have here we have we are taking the horizontal input which will uh, roll the aircraft so what we do is we will take that limit here control v just call that function to limit the airplane position uh, sorry rotation so but uh, we have taken the values here but we have not set them so we will set them here like uh, if i take the left limit for example 80 and the right limit is minus 80 so let's run the code and see if it is working or not so first of all we will set it to zero and now run the code so it is showing us the null reference we can see see why it is showing us the null reference let's see the code so you can see here why it is showing us the null reference we have not i have seen there i have not convert that uh, this angle into that the rotation of that local transform the transform location rotation we have taken transform transform dot rotation is equal to rotation rotation dot either and that plane Euler angles V and and I hope this will work now let's see and run the code again let's run this so it is again showing us the null reference let, us, let me see what is going on let me see write the correct command to get that component it is showing me the error to get component of that transform object we are taking that air transform object here and we have not write the correct script so here we have to use equal to sign to sign you can see this is showing us a weird behavior because i think we have given it negative value to this, this and give positive value to the right and let save and see and here we can see it is perfectly applied the airplane is not rotating anymore it is perfectly it have limit both the left and right limit 